Hello, you're welcome to Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Morube. In the previous video, I showed you how to draw the pattern for this bus corset, and in today's video, we'll be sewing the corset by joining the pieces together, um, attaching, boning, fixing the cup, and finally embellishing and closing up the inside. So join me as we do this together. Here are the patterns we cut out from the previous video and I proceeded to lay this on a piece of fabric cutting out each of the piece with half an inch allowance all round including the cups. So I've cut out four pieces for each because I intend to line it with the same fabric and uh, this is just for one side from the center front to the side of the front to this side back and to the center back so underneath it we have three additional pieces that will make up for the other side and for the lining take note of how i treated the sharp edges okay so at the sharp edges here i didn't just make a sharp allowance i have the half an inch and a slightly straight line underneath so that when i sew the two side we have a pointed edge at that point on my main piece of fabric, I'll be attaching this fusible interfacing. So I'll just be picking up the main piece of the fabric now and ironing in the interfacing. So this is what I have on the main piece. I'll pin all of this together so I can proceed to the sewing machine to join them. So it's necessary to pin so that you don't get confused when you're joining the pieces and you won't mix them up. As you can see, they look slightly similar. So it's necessary to use a pin to hold it together before moving to the sewing machine for the proper stitching. For the center front piece, it doesn't have to be cut into two pieces. You can have your center front unfold and then attach a bone in at the center of it. But I have two separate pieces for my center front. Once I'm done sewing these pieces together, I will do the same thing for the lining. Now I'm done joining the pieces together and this is what we have on the outside and we have this on the inside. I've gone ahead to iron the seam lines. Notice how I pressed the seam on the right towards the right and that of the left towards the left and the one at the center I pressed the seam allowance open. That's because of the way I want to attach the boning to the fabric. So you can see how good it looks right now. These are the pieces for the cup and we have one for the left, the other for the right and while cutting I notched the bust point, the exact point where we have the bust and I'll be attaching these two pieces together making sure that the notch for each of the piece align with each other so that, that would just make sewing easier because I have it notched already. So once I'm done joining the pieces together I'll go ahead to place notches so that my seam relaxes properly and I'll then move on to the ironing table to press open the seam allowance. So this is what I have so far. So I picked up my already made bra cup which I'll be using for this project. You can also use a wording or breast pad and sew together. But then I'll be making use of this already made cup which I'll be attaching to the cup cut out from fabric and I'll be sewing it together by half an inch so because the sewing allowance on the cup is just quarter of an inch I'm pushing it in by additional quarter of an inch so that I can sew by half an inch so once I'm done doing that I set my cup aside to further work on the panels so I'm using this um, rigelene boning to create um, a structure for the corset and what I'll be doing here is to attach it to each of the same allowance from the inside so just place it this way before you do you can go ahead and iron the rigelene boning just so it stands straight but i didn't do that okay I, I wanted to experiment to see what will happen if i actually decided to make use of the curve you get 
from the Rigelin bone in Nomly. So now I held this piece together. I'll be sewing the first seam at the side of the Rigelin bone. If you know a Rigelin bone, you know you, there is a slight space at the side where you can sew on. Okay, so I'll be covering up the top of the bone with my masking tape just so it doesn't hurt while uh, the corset is on the skin. So you can also make use of a lighter to bond that tip a little bit just so in, it reduces the sharpness around that area. So once I'm done sewing on one side, I closed up the allowance, okay, and see on the other side of the regular boning. I will do the same thing on each of the same allowance. If you use this method for boning attachment, this is what you have on the outside of the corset. Now for the center front allowance there, I'm using another method and I'm just placing the regular boning directly on the same allowance I ironed open and I was sewing by the side. But then you need to make sure it's centralized. And while stitching, you need to start from the top of the fabric because this seam will be very visible on the outside. The entire boning process is usually a major part of this type of project. It takes time, so take your time and just do a neat job once and for all. Now I'm done attaching the boning at the center front and this is what we have. Observe how different it is from what we have at the side. So this is my lining. I've gone ahead to repeat the entire process for the lining, attaching the cups together and sewing all the panels together to give this. So I'll go ahead and attach the cup to the panel and sew them together by half an inch. So the only difference is that there will be no already made cup attached to the lining. So here is the main fabric. I've attached the already made cup in here after ironing open the same allowance so remember to do that it can help your cup look neater so now i want to drape fabric on this and i've done that on one side already so that you know what we are aiming for so i'll be picking up a piece of fabric on bias making sure that i'm you know draping this on the cup on bias so that it will be slightly stretchy and it will relax properly so I'll just make the first pleat right there. You want to make sure that the pleat aligns with the same line on the cup. Once I'm done creating my preferred drape, I'll go ahead to pin the fabric around the sides of the cup and I'll be cutting out the excess fabric. Before cutting out the excess fabric, please compare it with that of the other side to be sure that they at least look alike. So now I'm cutting off the excess at the sides of my cup. Now here are the cups looking really cute. Now I'll be attaching it to the other part of the corset. Just ensure that you are placing the left cup at the left side and the right cup at the right side. Okay, so now we'll be stitching this onto the main corset by half an inch, making sure that the center seam on the corset aligns with that center boning channel on the main piece. This is another process where you need a lot of patience, so just take it easily. I'm sewing by half an inch gently through the curves from the center to one side of the cup and once I'm done with that side I'll just turn it around and start again from the center to the other side so I just find this more helpful because that way I'm sure that my center is in place okay that I've not mistakenly shifted it onto the other side and my cup will balance well on the corset Now I'm done attaching the cup and it's time to top stitch 
on the main piece of the corset not the cup now making sure that the seam allowance is away from the cup but this process will be really tedious without notching so you have to notch around the corset cup to ensure that the seam relaxes properly while doing this be careful so you don't cut out the main part of the fabric and you're doing this on only the allowance so now i'm top stitching on the corset just below the cup and i'm doing this by a quarter of an inch so this just helped the entire complex sits more relaxed into each other wow now i'm done with the cup and i have the lining here i've repeated the entire process for the lining piece as well fixing the cup like i said earlier on the only difference is that we don't have an already made cup attached to the line so now i'll be turning the top of this corset with the lining sewing the two together from one side to the other by half an inch while doing this, ensure that the seam allowance on the main corset aligns with that on the lining so you can maintain a balanced look. And once you're through, proceed to notch round the curvy part of the corset. And you know why already, right? The next step is to top stitch on the lining. So the seam allowance facing towards the lining, you'll be top stitching by one quarter of an inch. to create a loop for the lace at the back of the corset and I'm making use of this rope right here so you can create a rope by yourself using any fabric you can just make a bias tape and sew into each other and um, I'll be starting by drawing out a line one inch wide at the center back and I'll proceed to further divide this line into how many pieces i think six or seven here and i'm spacing them by one inch so one inch apart so this is just to ensure that my loops balance well and we don't have them looking different from each other so i'll go ahead and pin the first and create a curve so i want to ensure that the curve doesn't go beyond the one inch line there and i'll use my pin all through to hold this loop together so here I have my first and I'll proceed to create the second one without cutting out the rope Okay, you can definitely cut this out, but I just find this easier for me So I want to make sure that my loop is one inch wide and one inch long So that's the essence of the entire marking out I did initially So this is what we have once I'm done creating the loop and I'll go ahead and stitch right at the edge there, maybe by like one quarter of an inch. And once I'm through, that's just to hold it in place. And once I'm through, I'll turn my lining around and close up that center back by half an inch, which is the same allowance we originally added on the fabric. point i decided to play around with a mesh fabric and just create some gathers around the hem of the corset so i have this i think this is about 10 inches um wide and it's as long as you want it to be so but then the width is about 10 inches so i'll be folding this into two in a way that one of the fold will be smaller than the other so i can have layers then i'll go ahead and pleat it into each other like so so i have two layers here one sh smaller than the other or should i say one shorter than the other and i'm creating plates right there i'll be attaching this to the hem of the corset just to give it some life now i'm done sewing in the mesh by half an inch and this is what we have it looks nice and beautiful next i'll be closing up the only opening we have left now just around the hem of the corset okay we have closed up every other 
part of it so you can see it right there so now i will turn around my entire lining and hold that hem onto the cloth okay so lining onto the cloth i'll be pinning it holding it down with pins making sure that the boning channels that's the same allowance on both the lining and the cloth align with each other so i'll be holding it down with a pin and i'll proceed to sew by half an inch leaving about six to seven inches opened so that we can do the final closing on that point using a ladder stitch i have a tutorial on the channel where i demonstrated how to make a ladder stitch okay it's very useful when you need to make a complete inseam finishing once i'm done i'll be turning the corset inside out so here is what we have on the inside on the outside don't forget to keep pressing as you're sewing this usually makes your outfit look neater so now remember i didn't iron my boning before this entire sewing thing because of the experiments i was carrying out so i had to go ahead and iron it because i didn't like how it was standing out it was not so bad but i decided to do that okay now it's time to embellish so i just had to put this on a dress form this is not compulsory you can do your embellishment right on the table but i love the way this lace is looking from here what do you think what do you think about this project so far are you going to give it a try so this is what we have at the front okay our cups sit well i love the way the plate appears so now we'll just go ahead and place some lace patches on it and hold it down with a pin once i'm done i'll take it to the table and stitch it in properly in such a way that the seams don't show on the outside so i'm not using a sewing machine you have to hand stitch this i also proceeded to add some trimmings okay just to give it some life to make it look more beautiful so i'm attaching this onto the fabric using a fabric glue so ideally this should stick to your fabric when you steam press but then you may even still need some tacking to keep it in place okay don't rely on that especially after washing so now proceed to the table to sew in the lace patches you can see what we have already and uh, i love the look i'll also be attaching some peels on the roses before stitching it onto the fabric so you can see the white peels we have on it i just think it makes it look even more beautiful please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't this will help more people get to see my work thank you so finally here we have it a beautiful piece hanging on a dress form i absolutely love this piece i love the colors what do you think about this please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if you had fun watching this or if you've learned something new from this thank you and please watch my next tutorials and the previous ones subscribe to the channel if you haven't and have a beautiful beautiful day bye bye